Want to save time and get paid faster? Well, watch on as I show you a feature in Xero that'll help you do just that. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And one of the things we talk about a lot is the use of cloud software. So in this particular video, I wanna to talk to you about a tip of using the product Xero. It's one of the sort of market leaders of this cloud accounting software. We've done various videos on the potential for its use, but particularly here, studies have shown that you get paid on average about 15 days quicker if you use something like Xero to do your invoicing. Now, a lot of the reason that is, is often because you do your invoicing quicker. I think for many owners, it can be one of these things it's quite a boring laborious job where you don't you know you've done your hard day's work the last thing you want to do is go home and sit in front of a computer to do your invoicing but with something like Xero where you can make templates and we've done videos on this um, of how to invoice it can be something that is a lot easier and quicker to do and getting those invoices out on time each month or each day can really really improve the amount of time it takes before you get paid so in this video I just want to show you a tip on using repeating invoices which is one of the features that really helps I know we use it internally a lot each month to make sure we get regular bills out on time. Now before we get into this make sure if you like this video to click the subscribe button below so you get notified whenever we release another video just like this one. So let's get into it. So if you haven't seen this this is the Xero dashboard. Now I'm not going to spend too long in this video at all on this but I just want to highlight the fact that what's cool about it is it shows you a lot of information, shows you what your bank balance is at the moment and it, on here this particular demo company they've got some items they've got to deal with in the bank, shows you a bit of a summary of what cash you've had in and out and of course shows you what you need to pay and who owes you what. There's also an element where you can track certain things you're really interested in if you're keeping an eye on your finances. But in this particular video, this tip is all about repeating invoices. Now, if you've got something regular, say you're an IT company and you do data backup and you want to repeat your invoice every month for the same customers, or you're a, a web company and you've got hosting invoices, or you're an accountancy company and you've got payroll, or whatever the case may be, something where it's the same thing every month, it's possible to repeat the invoices. And automating that is going to save you a lot of time and having to raise them all the time, and also the possibility that you miss one. So there's lots of ways in Xero of getting around it, but the easiest way for me to show you is if I just go into this awaiting payment here, th there is lots of ways of doing it. It will show us all the invoices that we are currently awaiting payments for. You can see all the due dates in here. Now, what you can do for a new invoice on a repeating invoice is go up to this button and press new repeating invoice. Now, what it allows you to do is say, okay, can you, if this is a monthly bill, can you repeat it once every month? Let's do the end of the month and it's due in seven days following that end of the month. And if we wanted to set this just, let's just say we'd, we've got a year contract with us or something, you could set an end date and it'll stop repeating these. Now, in this particular one, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna send it to, not me, let's do it to Bayside Club uh, and we're gonna do a reference of monthly services in this particular case. And you have some branding options. So if you do this, and I covered this in another video, if you have say different brands or you have something like you normally print to headed paper or you email, here is how you select which which particular branding you want. If you've got online payments already scheduled up, so sometimes you can have things like PayPal and Stripe attached to it, so the option is on the invoice for them to pay straight away, and again, that's a very good thing in order to get paid quicker. That will be selected here and you can manage that. But in terms of what you do, so in this particular case, we're gonna sell some repeating golf balls, and these items are already pre-set up, so it fills up all the prices, and every month they've got a special service with us where we're selling them 10 golf balls delivered to their place of work each month on a subscription or something like that. So in fact, let's call that monthly subscription. I like that idea. It's probably something that's possible actually, I've never actually looked, but monthly subscription for golf balls. And you can do that, and the biggest thing to look at here is you've got three options. You can either save as a draft, and really this is how you manage it, and I wanna show you this, is how you manage sending these invoice out. So you can either save as a draft, and it'll put it into drafts, so then you can go in and review them all. The downside to that is you have to go and approve them, but if you have somebody in your team that's gonna do this and invoices generally, you might have them save draft invoices, you go in and approve it, or you can put approve and approve for sending. There's not a lot of difference between the two. I tend to just go approve and I'll show you the way that I would manage it. But if you wanted to do the draft process, you could. And then that's it, you've got that in, you can add all the different lines. You can also do things, I'm not gonna show you here, but you can do things they call them placeholders where you can actually put a thing in brackets that will end up generating the month names or September services or something like that. I think it's disabled in the, in the demo company, but it's possible you, and once you're happy with that you can save that here so you put this in and it will when it loads this morning go into here so you've now got this repeating invoice now every month that that goes on it will appear inside of one of the tabs so if you put it in drafts it'll appear in drafts if you put it in a waiting approval here or a waiting payment now 
we tend to do a wait in payment here. And the way that's quite often to manage this, I mean, actually, let's have a quick look. If we, you can backdate this as well, so let's do it. If we just put that actually, we wanted it in September, it will say, look, you've already, occurred, you've already done this. So if you press save, we'll go and make the old invoices. Again, that's quite a cool feature if you're doing a big bulk of them. So let's go and put that in. So we're gonna go and save that now into here. And I'll show you in the awaiting payment tab, you can see it's now gone up to 12. What you should be able to find is that the Bayside Club here, if we look at due dates, you should be able to see that your Bayside Club monthly subscription for golf balls here is showing here as though is overdue as we're recording this video at the moment overdue by 21 days now the way i would manage it is i would have it approved straight into here and then look at the cents so quite often so for example we do this internally we know based on where, whether we've sent something here if it's been approved so if you imagine if you had loads and loads of these subscriptions and they all came in it automatically put the invoices in you might have 30 40 plus invoices you'd see that there was a load of unsents and you can actually go through and you can email them straight to your clients on bulk you know you can click this button here and it selects them all as well so you know if you were completely clear you can select all of them and email it straight away it's a really good feature so that's just one way of managing it you might have some other process where you want it into drafts like they've done some here there's some monthly support invoices in drafts already in here and you, you could go in and approve it but as I mentioned to you before the biggest thing you have is you have to have another button click to do this whereas if you put them in approval it goes straight into your accounts at this particular point into awaiting payment so you do have to be comfy with that that it's gone straight into your accounts it's in your books it's showing in your profit and losses sales and everything else so you do need to then manage whether this is sent so that's the way I would do it I would have it come in if you're looking for speed to the client then you want to make sure that you're looking at this to make sure you've sent them because that is the risk of doing it this way is if you don't watch this then you're going to have invoices in there you haven't sent them and then you could potentially be chasing your client or customer for money when they haven't even seen the invoice so that's the tip on repeating invoices and I think it's a massive thing to be able to do if you're going to change them every month we're going to tweak them then I could see the draft thing being quite useful for you but if they're just standard invoices this is the way I quite like to do it is go straight into a wait in payment and then send it from there so that's it that's the tip for today if you've enjoyed this share it with your network like comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one